Welcome to Intro to Public Records Law, Records Management 101, from the Oregon Secretary of State Archives Division. What is records management? When thinking about records management, the key to managing your records is having answers to these questions. What is the document or file? How long do I keep it? How should I store it? Where is it? How many copies are there? What format is it in? Is this record the most up-to-date version? And who is the official record holder? Why does records management matter? Poor records management is bad for your agency. Storage and time spent looking for records can be costly. There is increased legal liability when over-retaining or under-retaining records, leading to litigation and settlements out of court which are both very costly in fiscal terms and in the eyes of the public. Why does records management matter? Poor records management is also bad for employees. There is a large percentage of time wasted on searching for records. When records are finally found, duplicates are created for easy retrieval and saved on personal drives or printed and put in a drawer. Duplicate content created and multiple drafts on projects can cause confusion over which is the official or most up-to-date version. Oregon Public Records Law Public record means any information that A. is prepared, owned, used, or retained by a state agency or political subdivision, B. relates to an activity, transaction, or function of a state agency or political subdivision, and C is necessary to satisfy the fiscal, legal, administrative, or historical policies, requirements, or needs of the state agency or political subdivision. ORS 192.005, subsection 5. Public Records Access there are two sides to public records law. The side in which the Secretary of State Archives Division has jurisdiction, retention, and disposition, and the side in which the Department of Justice has jurisdiction, access and exemptions. Public records access. Every person has a right to inspect any public record of a public body in this state, except as otherwise expressly provided in ORS 192.338, 192.345, and 192.355, ORS 192.314, subsection 1, meaning anyone can request a public record from a government body and it must be disclosed unless there is a specific exemption in law stating that they do not. This can cause many gray areas in granting access. Questions regarding access should be directed towards your agency legal counsel, the Department of Justice, or the Oregon Public Records Advocate. Public Records Access. These public records access laws apply to work done anywhere. Personal devices and accounts are not off limits to public records requests. Most public records policies prohibit conducting business via these devices and accounts to avoid complications in public records requests and to avoid devices being seized for discovery. Retention and disposition. Each state agency or political subdivision shall maintain a public record or accurate copy of a public record in accordance with a retention schedule authorized under the law without regard to the technology or medium used to create or communicate the record. ORS 192.108. As you can see in this ORS, the definition of a public record does not distinguish between the technology or format of the record. It's the content that matters. Ensuring compliance. To ensure compliance, Follow your agency's written policies and procedures for public records use, access, retention, and ownership. 
It is also important to have annual trainings in records management practices and any new policy or procedural changes that may occur. Electronic Records, OAR 166, Division 17. OAR 166, Division 17 sets rules for electronic records management systems, digitization of records, retentions of records in electronic format, file format standards, system security, and system maintenance. For questions regarding these rules, please contact the Oregon Secretary of State Archives Division Records Management Unit. Records Retention Schedules A records retention schedule is a document determining how long a public record must be kept to satisfy the administrative, legal, fiscal, and historical requirements of that public record. Retention is determined by the content of the record and not the format. The retention schedule is your only legal authorization to destroy public records, lists all records and retention periods, does not require the creation of records that you do not create already, and is approved by the state archivist. General Retention Schedules. This is a visual example of the State Agency General Retention Schedule located on the Oregon Secretary of State Archives Division website. General Retention Schedules. General Retention Schedules account for the commonly created records of specific government entities. There are General Retention Schedules for state agencies, boards and commissions, cities, counties and special districts, school districts, and community colleges. Special Retention Schedules. This is a visual example of a state agency special retention schedule. Special Retention Schedules. Special Retention Schedules account for the uniquely created records for state agencies in Oregon. It is important to review and revise these retention schedules on an annual basis if there are any changes within departments or programs within your agency records. If you need to make changes, contact the Records Management Unit at the Oregon State Archives Division. Electronic Filing Systems This slide shows a fairly standard disorganized shared drive. In organizing a shared drive, we want to avoid acronyms, miscellaneous folders, and personal folders, as these can add to duplicate content being created and compliance issues in retentions of records. Electronic Functional Filing Systems To create a functional filing system, we need to create fewer categories for ease of use. Organized by broad functional areas, like departments or programs, such as accounting or HR. Then group by retention requirements or types of records. This saves time and destruction, no longer having to weed through folders or forever piles. Records should be stored in a central location, rather than personal folders. This helps in finding official record copies or the most up-to-date version of needed records. Electronic Functional Filing Systems This image shows what a shared drive could look like following the tips from the previous slide. Top levels correspond to work functions, with folders below categorized by retention periods. The annual folders represent groups of records that can all be treated the same. This makes the job managing records over time much easier and lessens liability related to public records requests. Electronic Records Management Systems, or ERMS. An electronic records management system is a program used to house and access electronic records, and even physical record locations, for their predetermined retention, automating the routine task of physically having to find and destroy when the retention period has ended. Why use an ERMS? Manual records management doesn't work in the electronic world. 
We create mountains of digital information on a daily basis with no physical reminders to file and organize them. This leads to us creating too many duplicate copies with little administration and can be cause for security concerns. Public records requests and e-discovery requests cost time and money. So it is important for us to have more efficient ways of finding and storing records. Finally, electronic documents need monitoring to ensure that they can still be accessible in the future. ERMS Benefits ERMSs allow you to manage both electronic information and paper information in the same place. While the paper records don't actually live in the system, you can create virtual records that can be managed for retention and disposition with their electronic counterparts. When it comes time to destroy records, agencies have a reminder to also check certain file cabinets or off-site storage. This cuts down on redundant effort and dramatically reduces retrieval time. This leads to faster public records request compliance and a happier public. Permanent records. In order to keep records with a retention of 100 years or more in electronic form only, you are required to have a Department of Defense 5015.2-STD Certified Electronic Records Management System. Otherwise, those records must also be kept in paper or microfilm. What options are there for Department of Defense certified software? The list can be found in the Joint Interoperability Test Command website. Email. Email can certainly be considered a public record, not to mention their attachments. The retention of an email is determined by the content and not the format, so existing records retentions apply. Currently, much of the deletion of email is dictated by IT policies, but we have ways to cut down on the amount of email stored on our servers. Tips for email management. There are many emails you do not need to keep. FYIs, CCs, informational notices, ads, listserv messages, event announcements, spam, personal correspondence, articles, and reference materials. Delete these items as often as possible, and be sure to empty your deleted items folder on a regular basis. More tips for email management. Make useful, specific subject lines. This helps for identification, search, and retrieval of emails at a later date. Use the Outlook Cleanup tool. It condenses conversations to the last message in a thread while keeping other unique content. Text messaging. One of the main issues with text messages is that they are controlled by the mobile provider, many of which do not retain past 30 days but these messages can be public records. A good policy is necessary to ensure appropriate uses of text messages. We recommend against using for big conversations. Substantive business-related discussions are not to take place via SMS or other mobile messaging apps. If you do, you must capture records that occur by forwarding messages to a government-issued email address or obtaining mobile device management software. Instant messages. Similar to emails and text messages, instant messages can certainly be considered public records. Retention of instant messages are the same as an email or a text message. Consider the messages you participate in and capture appropriate content for the required retention. Thank you for reviewing this training. If you have questions, please contact the Oregon Secretary of State Archives Division Records Management Unit. Our email is records.management at sos.oregon.gov. Our phone number is 503-373-0701, option 3. For additional trainings, visit our website, sos.oregon.gov slash archives.